costs of that, if every single manufactured product that is sold in mainland Europe, if they were to be recertified, has anyone done any work as to what that's going to cost? I don't think we've seen any sort of gross calculations. Um, and I think depending on the, the, the sector you're in, depending on the type of business you are, what kind of profit margins, net profit margins you're running, um, you know, it could range from just a sort of extra uh, few administrative costs. But when you talk to the SMEs, particularly the smaller companies who are predominantly trading with the EU, importing and exporting, um, you know, they can't just shell out uh, 15, 20,000 uh, without actually having to absorb and reflect those costs elsewhere. Uh, I do think it's worth noting that in some sectors the government's talked about in terms of its no deal notices continuing to uh, recognize permissions for financial services for example or what we refer to as uh, marketing authorizations that are held by EU companies uh, the problem with that though is that that's being done uh, in one direction and you don't see the EU saying that they will continue to um, provide a sort of temporary recognition regime so the issue here is that it would need to be reciprocated um, but then that's effectively a deal